This is Michael, KC9PHK, here on behalf of 5.9 Radio, continuing on with the 2023 to 2027 general class question pool. Today we're covering sub-element G6, which is circuit components. Two exam questions come from the two groups in here. The first one here today, G6A, resistors, capacitors, inductors, rectifiers, solid state diodes, and transistors, vacuum tubes, and batteries. G6A01, what is the maximum allowable discharge voltage for maximum life of a standard 12-volt lead-acid battery? Correct answer is 10.5 volts. G6A02, what is an advantage of batteries with low internal resistance? It's going to be high discharge current. G6A03, what is the approximate forward threshold voltage of a geranium diode. 0 0.3 volts. G6A04, which of the following is characteristic of an electrolytic capacitor? It's going to be high capacitance for a given volume. G6A05, what is the approximate forward threshold voltage of a silicon junction diode? It's going to be 0 0.7 volts. g 6 a06, why should wire-wound resistors not be used in RF circuits? That's going to be because the resistors' inductance could make the circuit performance unpredictable. G6A07, what is the operating points for a what are the operating points for a bipolar transistor used as a switch? It's going to be saturation and cutoff. G6A08, which of the following is characteristic of low voltage ceramic capacitors? Comparatively low cost. G6A09, which of the following describes MOSFET construction? It's going to be the gate is separated from the channel by a thin insulating layer. G6A10, which element of the vacuum tube regulates the flow of electrons between the cathode and plate? It's the control grid. Control grid. G6A11, what happens when an inductor is operated above its self-resonant frequency? It becomes capacitive. G6A12, what is the primary purpose of a screen grid in a vacuum tube? That's to reduce grid to plate capacitance. G6B covers analog and digital integrated circuits, also known as ICs. Microwave ICs, which is MMICs, display devices, RF connectors, and ferrite cores. G6B01 says, what determines the performance of a ferrite core at different frequencies? And it's the comp composition or mix of materials used. G6B02, what is meant by the term MMIC? Monolithic Microwave Integrated Circuit. G6B03, which of the following is an advantage of CMOS integrated circuits compared to TTL integrated circuits? Low power consumption. G6B04, what is the typical upper frequency limit for low SWR operation of 50 ohm BNC connectors? The upper limit is 4 gigahertz. G6B04, or 5, what is the advantage of using a ferrite core tor toroidal inductor. And all of these are correct. So large values of inductance may be obtained. The magnetic properties of the core may be optimized for a specific f frequency range. And most of the magnetic field is contained in the core. G6B06, what kind of device is an integrated circuit operational amplifier? That's going to be analog. G6B07, which of the following describes a type N connector? A moisture-resistant RF connector useful to 10 gigahertz. G6B08, how is an LED biased when emitting light? Forward biased. An LED light is forward biased. G6B09, how does a liquid crystal display compare to an LED display? Higher contrast in high ambient lighting. G6B10, how does a ferrite bead 
or core reduce common mode RF current on the shield of a coaxial cable by creating an impedance in the current's path. G6B11, what is an SMA connector? An SMA connector is a small threaded connector suitable for signals up to several gigahertz. G6B12, which of these connector types is commonly used for low frequency or DC signal connections to a transceiver? It's going to be the RCA Phono plug, RCA Phono. That will continue, or that will end G6. Let's go to G7. Subelement G7 is practical circuits. Three exam questions come from three groups. G7A, power supplies, and schematic.